everybody, my name is David Silberberg, and today we're going to be learning all about document templates and how to pull information about related parties into those document templates. The first step is making sure that we have a custom field set up in our settings page uh, that is a contact type custom field. Uh, this way, when we are working with our contacts and our matters, we'll be able to select a already existing contact as the related party. So I have in here a custom field called opposing counsel, and I made it a contact type custom field, which you can see right there, as opposed to a text box, a date, etc. Whenever I go to make a matter, that opposing counsel field is a drop down list of all of my existing contacts. So this is how I can link together um, other existing contacts to this case on my system. Next up is actually building out these templates. So we're going to go to automation and go to templates and we're going to go down here to contact or matter. So my custom field for opposing counsel was located in the matter. So I'm going to go reveal all my matter fields and look for my opposing counsel field. I'm going to take this field as it is, copy it, and then we're going to paste it into our Word document here. Now that's not quite enough because yeah, we're telling Practice Panther that our field is located in the matter and we're telling Practice Panther that the field we're looking for is the opposing counsel. We still need to tell Practice Panther what specific information we want to know about the opposing counsel. So to do that, we're going to put a period and build out the rest of this code, which is literally just copying the custom codes that we have in Practice Panther for our contact. So I can minimize this, show our contact fields, and then whatever we want about to know about our contact or about that opposing counsel, we're gonna grab that piece of the code and just copy it and paste it right in. After putting a period and before putting the uh, formatted text, before putting the hashtag. So you have to put in a period make sure there's no space like there is here period the code from practice panther and then close it out with that hashtag that should already be there so i'll do a couple of different examples of this so once you already have one it is very easy to just copy and paste that one and then all we're going to focus on is changing this last piece of information so go back here let's say i want the last name i'm going to take this last name piece right there, copy it, go back here and paste it. So paste, unformatted, there we go. Let's say I want the mobile number. Again, take the entire code, paste it wherever you want the mobile number of the opposing counsel. And then we're gonna go find the mobile number field, which is right here. Take that piece of the code, copy it, and paste it right here. So just like that, I have a document here where I am pulling out information about the opposing counsel. I'm pulling out their first name, their last name, and their mobile number that they have on file. Again, we wanna make sure there's no uh, case sensitivity discrepancies. It doesn't have to be exact and that there are no spacing discrepancies as well. So make sure it looks perfect like this and then save that copy of the document template. Next, just like all of our other templates, we're going to upload that document template. So I'm coming back to Practice Panther, hitting New Document Template on the top right. And then we're going to name the template and select it for upload. So we're going to say Relationship. Uh, I'm going to say Opposing Counsel Info Test. And then I'm going to select it and upload it. And then we're going to hit Save. Now it's just a matter of using it. So I'm going to find a matter and make sure we have someone in the Opposing Counsel field to pull out. So let's go to this matter over here, my second divorce, and I edit the matter. I want to throw in another contact here, John Smith, save. I also want to make sure that John Smith has a mobile number. All right, once we're all good, we're going to hit new on the matter that we want to use the template on and apply template. Pick the template you want to use and download. It's going to give us a brand new document, replacing the codes with the information about that related party. And that's it. Enjoy. 